Hey, what's going on and what's going off, my friends? Welcome back and welcome front. We're going to be delving a little bit deeper into the line of Shinkalion today, or Shinka Shinkalion? Um, Shinkalion. And uh, yeah, this is the Erda trailer, and it looks like Huffer's brother, right, from another mother. And he is like an armorizer, upgrader, weaponizer bit for the Shinkalion trains. So you can see the green one over here. What's his name? Hayabusa? Maybe. And when you cross him with this one, you produce this. It, it's kind of similar to what you see in my um, my bop ending thumbnails, like Robot 1, Robot 2, cross them together, and you have this over here. And I'm pretty excited to kind of like bring this guy to y'all and just kind of open him up. I don't know anything about this line. I recently did an unboxing of this dude, and um, I liked it a lot. But I'm curious to see what added elements uh, this particular dude provides. And you can see he's a little huffer dude that's carrying the, the train caboose, and so that's kind of cool. And that must be their whole universe. Train is like their thing. And you can see my man's like, yeah, yeah, right there, right over there and kind of implying that they work, that they work together. And so uh, let's pop them open. Let's pop them open. And um, I have, uh, what is it? Hayabusa open there on the side and he's just kind of waiting and we're going to see what this guy's all about. Um, I've been enjoying this packaging, dude. It's very, very succinct and uh, very compact and it feels like... Um, like, like I'm opening machinery, like I'm opening a, a digital camera or something like that. Like, it's interesting. There's no twist ties and stuff. They're just kind of in these, like, hard cardboard cases. And um, the one thing I don't like is they come with stickers. I'm not a big sticker guy, and I wish they didn't have them. And so when I see the stickers, I'm wondering, like, is this a kid's... I mean, of course it's a kid's toy, but, like, how young of a kid? I don't know. I don't know. But oh, we have these kind of, like, crazy blast effects. Um, one second. Yeah, sorry about that. We have these blast effects. Uh, they don't have five millimeters on them. Oh, that's another thing. If you're tuning in for the first time, uh, these guys have five millis. They are five millimeter compatible. And so the whole purpose of me getting into this line is actually to see if I can blend and bend these guys with transformers. And um, whew, when we were doing Hayabusa, I was getting some butterflies in my stomach. And I'm starting to feel it right now, too. Just looking at these right now, my mind is starting to race. I can I can feel my CPU kind of overclocking right now as, as I start to unbag these things. And um, it's a cool feeling, dude. It's a cool feeling. It's like the roller coaster. You're like, oh, what's it going to be like once the drop happens? What's this going to feel like? And because you're just like, you don't know what to expect, you know? And that sense of eager anticipation is filling me right now. And or it's just coffee. I don't know, dude. And it's making me feel kind of queasy, but it's making me feel kind of good, dude. I'm excited for this, dude. Uh, I personally don't care too much about the Shinkalion, like, universe, so to speak. I'm not really interested in watching another anime. And uh, truth be told, I haven't watched any anime in, like, some time. I think Chainsaw Man was the last one that I was kind of... Uh, oh, and I watched... Um, what is it called? Shuran... Kagan Ashura, Ashura, I don't know, some MMA thing on Netflix. Nah, that was kind of mid, dude. That was whatever, dude. Um, yeah, and if you like that series, then awesome. Um, yeah, not trying to, not trying to clown you or anything. Uh, but here is a really cool little like foot looking thing, and dude, it has a nice little five milli on top, dude. I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited about that. And uh, yeah, it sits flush. Dude, we have these like mix master bits. Also, five milli right up in the front. I'm assuming these tab in together. Yeah, they have some tab mechanisms. They also have these five millis on the inside. And I'm wondering if this opens in any way. I guess not. But yeah, they do have these five millis set inside there. There's more five milli and even a four milli, I think, which I've never seen before. I've seen threes and fives, but I've never seen a four. Um, but yeah, that's present. And I'm wondering if that's to actually secure something, because typically when you have two connection ports, it, it's meant to kind of um, hold something securely together. This, there's a five million right here. Like this looks like it's some type of like shin guard. Uh, and this, I wonder if that is the four milli. That is indeed the four milli. Um, This is kind of cool, dude. You got some like random armor bits, dude. I'm feeling that, dude. And uh, yeah, this also has a bunch of like five millis, five millis that you can plug in and uh, nothing on the top. 
Well, I'm wondering if this is meant to be some type of like arm guard or something like that. Um, not that I'm disappointed, but I, I am kind of surprised, I guess, of how few parts there are. But let, 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 let's see what this looks like. And I don't think this is used in anything in particular. These might be used for the um, the little blast effect things, and they look like they look like keys almost, huh? And they have five mils right there. So let's take a look. Let's take a rook. Let's take a rook, 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 rook. Maybe it's not the eager anticipation of butterflies. Maybe my stomach just hurts right now. <laughs> Because it does kind of hurt. <laughs> um. Okay. So let's see this. So it says we take this bit and we take one of these bits. I think it's this one and then you just plug that in there and then that five mil goes right there and does this move oh this does move but um okay this is kind of cool dude there's a hole right there and so and that sits flush so uh this tilts back a little bit but that's okay this is probably the alt mode this is probably the vehicle and so we do that and will they plug in side by side my guess is yes but before we do all of that And that's where that formula plugs in, like we had deduced earlier. And then from there, we put these together. I, I got to say, dude, the, the intuitive nature of this stuff, like, it makes it fun. It makes it fun. It makes it just, like, simplistic uh, and enjoyable. And not saying that simplistic is necessarily the key to, to enjoyment, but, like, Oh, did I miss this earlier? It comes with this. Oh, it's a, it's kind of gummy. This gummy dagger. Um, but yeah, like it, it, it meets my expectation. It does everything that I would expect it to do, basically. And then from here, these plug in, and these are kind of, they're all vinyl, but for some reason, this gray just kind of feels cheap. Uh, and it's a little flexy, but, you know, no hate, no hate. Oh, I'm, I forgot to plug this in. Goes right there. I mean, he definitely feels like Huffer's brother, right? Like, that, you know that's the first person I'm thinking of. Y'all know that's the first person I'm thinking of right now. Huffer, Huffer, and maybe Grapple. And then from here, do you know, Yo, nuts, dude. That's... It's pretty shallow, but... Okay. Oh, wow, wow, wow. No, no, it clicked. It clicked once I put it in there. And that's it. And that's it. And I guess the caboose, caboose uh, sits on top of that. And it says if you want... They're showing that you can put the blast effects over here, but um, honestly, I don't really care about the blast effect. And it is showing that if you have the the train in the train mode, that yeah, it sets down over here, and then you can like hook it on and stuff. That's cool, man. That's cool. I like the fact that this play pattern basically is like we have this accompanying vehicle over here that integrates with the main bot that it's supporting. Like I wish Transformers did that. Like, I wish they had a little mini side drone bot and uh, it, it would just enhance the main bot, you know what I mean? And they became like armor and stuff like that. Like, this is a very beautiful play pattern that I'm experiencing right now. And um, it's, it's, it's very, very nice. Yeah, it's very, very nice. And I'm enjoying myself right now playing with these things. Um, and now the next picture, it basically says, take everything apart. But this is cool, man. Like what I'm experiencing now right right here 
is ultimately what I do when I'm bot bending. Like this is how, this is the play pattern that I, not develop, but but what I lean into and, and what I kind of like evangelize and promote. Um, but they're doing it officially, you know, you know what I mean? And it feels good. I feel like I'm among like-minded brethren, so, so to speak, like, like, yeah, like I didn't know I belonged here, but once I got here and I'm like, ah, oh, this is it, dude. I've been missing out this whole time, you know? Um, like where have I been all my life? Like, I feel like I'm among my people and I don't mean Japanese people. <laughs> I mean like building folk. And uh, this is cool. Let me just see. Does this... Yo, they're wildin', dude. Get the cup out of here, dude. Yo, I'm gonna give this to Grimlock, dude. That's kind of tight, dude. And then these... These just kind of plug in there. That's kind of cool, man. That's a nice, secure fit. Um, I'm feeling all of this, man. I'm feeling all of this. I just hope that there's greater com compatibility with... Um, with um uh the transformers yeah and here those are five millis i'm pretty certain but because everything other than that four millimeter has been a five and yeah that is a five it's just not as deep it's a little loose but i know it's a five um all right so i have one of the shinkaleon characters over here and um i think his name's hayabusa so it says pop off the arms. Then it says, uh, it says remove this bit. And it says insert this into here. It's not a terribly deep fit, but it, it, it does the job. And once it's in there, wait a minute. And then once it's in there, I think I think they're saying put this back on. Oh yeah, and you can see that that there's a tab and a slot. Oh wow, they've just kind of beefed up the armor there, huh? Huh. And then on the on the back, I think they're saying just plug this in like so. A little obtrusive, but uh, sure, we'll 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 go with it. That's the arm. Then, um, yeah, dude, how fun, man! Like it feels Lego-ish. And I really think that's the inherent design, you know? It's meant to it's meant to be a building toy. Uh, it has some standard rules, and perhaps there isn't as much deviation uh, built in, and maybe you can't really even expand it, and maybe I'm just feeling this way because this is the first time I'm, I'm messing with it, but who knows? Who knows these things? All right, so we have um, both of these sides. It's a little dark, it's a little dark. I think it's all right, dude. Maybe I'll edit it in post. So we have those. Sorry about that. And for the reg, this bit looks like it's just gonna plug in here and, and, you, and, you, and, you, and, you, and you're gonna see that it hugs the contour perfectly. And same thing for this. Those 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 slots those tabs rather are gonna fit right into the foot, and it's a nice solid fit. And this looks nice already. And so I thought the Shinkalion robots were a little thin, and it must have been intentional so that all of this can be baked in and built on top of them. Um, Yeah, that looks good. Kind of looks like he has some moon boots. And this, it says, you attach 
it's right there. That's fine. It's not as snug as I would like, but that's that's fine. Um, it says this connects over here, but I'm wondering if it's a wedge system or whatever. Do we'll figure it out later. These bits are like little skirt things that plug in right there. That also plug in right there. Hmm. And this plugs in right there. This goes right there. And how does this? Oh, smart. That goes like that. And see, yeah, this is a little bit lo looser than I'd like. I wish this it was seated deeper. Um, but whatever, dude. It's like that. Now we give him this giant sword. <laughs> and uh, let me adjust the camera so we can see him a little bit better. That's our guy right there, dude. That's our guy right there. Huffer Shinkalion, dude. Um, and it looks pretty good, man. It looks pretty good. Especially, I mean, the original... I think this guy's name is Hayabusa, so I'm just going to keep calling him that. Um, like, he looks good already. But um, he looks even better. And now I'm actually seeing schematics on... You can actually combine... The blast effects. Here, let me... You can combine the blast effects together to create a giant sword, which is kind of wild, dude. But yeah, this, this one, wish it was a little bit deeper. Still though, it's pretty cool. So all right, so what's going on over here is we remove the purple bits. Oh, you know what? I was like, what does it remind me of? It reminds me of like Dragon Ball when they're charging up. Like, um, we get this. Apparently the sword goes in there. And this goes over here. And this goes on top of that. How obnoxious, dude. Uh, but in, in a funny way. And that's it. And maybe that's for the triple combiner, because this looks way too big for him. But maybe as like a broadsword, like Berserk. But yeah, this just looks way too big. Probably it'll be better suited when... Oh. That just kind of came off. It'll probably be better suited for this. This gummy gray bit doesn't like going inside that'll probably be more appropriate yeah yeah like that like that there you know what there's actually thumbs on both sides and in, in the event that you wanted to use it for the left or right hand that's kind of smart dude but yeah so that's probably for the super arm but that's it that's it yeah so for hayabusa i think it's hayabusa and the erda trailer or huffer I'm Botbender, and you are awesome you, and I appreciate y'all being here today. Um, let's see what else. Let's see what else comes down this line, and let's see, more importantly, if we can somehow merge these guys with uh, with some of our Transformers buddy. So wouldn't that be a treat now, huh? 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 All right, you know what? I'm going to clean this off. Clean this all up um, when I stop the video. Just want to say thank you so much for being here. Hope you like the content. Tune in for more stuff daily. You know how it goes, right? 
everyone have a lovely day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.